What's going on guys? Alec here. Hope you're all having an amazing day. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today I want to go over the six best ways to get sales. From my experience, the absolute best ways from my five years plus selling on Amazon, how to increase your sales, make more money, and hit those uh, monthly goals and really reach that financial freedom. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is to differentiate your product. This is so important, guys. And if you know what you're doing and you do it properly, you could stand out from all the rest and you could beat that competition and really just eliminate all the competition. And if you think a lot of people might say Amazon's dead and all these other things because it's too competitive, this and that, if you do the things that I explain right now and I speak about in the Amazon Entrepreneurs course and that I teach my students to differentiate your products. So even though you uh, sell the same products as other, other sellers, you have to stand out in some way. So that could be through a better listing, keywords, uh, color, variation, anything to really uh, look better, look different, stand out, and improve. Maybe you improve the quality of the product, the fabric, maybe thicker, uh, color, better material, whatever you guys have to do to really stand out and make yours better. So I'm going to get on to the next thing right here, and it's going to lead me right into this, which is a premium angle. So when you're selling on Amazon, Everybody, a lot of customers know they're pretty savvy shoppers and they know that a lot of the things on Amazon uh, could be like cheap Chinese made and they're not very good quality. So Amazon customers are very aware of this and they know then when they're purchasing and making their purchase decisions, they're looking at everything very quickly and you have to really stand out, grab attention and make your product look the best, better than anybody else's. And one way to do that is by offering a premium angle. So what do I mean by this? Make your product look good. So whether it's packaging, better material, like I said before, do whatever you have to do to maintain a higher price point and really beautiful packaging, beautiful designs, whatever you guys need to do, really work with your suppliers and create that premium angle. Even if you have to pay a few extra cents for that better, thicker packaging or whatever you have to do to really stand out and make your product premium. So whatever you guys have to do to do that, uh, add that premium angle, really scout out your niche and your products and see what other competitors are doing and how you can make that better and give a better buying experience to your customer. So that's an extremely important thing I wanted to uh, share with you guys. From my experience, make sure everything looks good. It's premium in some way and uh, that'll lead into my next point. If you have a happy customer, they're going to become your customer for life. They're going to want to constantly purchase and buy products from you in the future because they ex enjoy the experience they like the product they got the product they really enjoyed it guys you're selling products to real customers here and when they get your products they open them up they're excited they want to see what's in there they want to get a nice premium looking package box and experience guys you're giving your customers an experience so it's it goes a little bit beyond just selling products to random people. You're hitting a target demographic audience. And like I always speak about on my channel, if you're new, I speak about building brands. And I go over this much more in the Amazon Entrepreneurs course and speak about building brands on Amazon because it leads you to have higher prices, uh, more loyal customers, and people actually gravitate towards your brand because they see you stand for something and you have a line of products around the similar target audiences uh, needs and wants and desires. So you guys have to build a brand and that leads to e uh, automated email sequences. So every seller, uh, every Amazon seller must have one of these set up. I use JumpSend. I have another video on my channel explaining this, how to set it all up and really go through the flow of the uh, email sequences. So once your customer purchases your product, what are they going to get right off the bat? They're going to get a message from you saying, thank you for your product. Um, can't, thank you for purchasing your product. Can't wait till you receive it. Hopefully you have a good experience. And then you just bring them along the customer journey until they get the product to their door. And then you send them another email a few days later uh, asking for a review, an honest review. So that's really the main purpose of an email uh, automated sequence. And this is all hands off, guys. So with JumpSend, I have a link below for that. Um, you really just set it up and it set it and forget it. And it's very customized. You could address the, the customer by their name. So like, hey, uh, Brian, or hey, uh, Mike, whatever you want to do, their name will show up in there. And by doing this, this really warms up your customer to your brand. And it really makes them uh, think that you care. And you guys do care, but it really goes that extra mile 
to really do things that other competitors aren't doing. So you guys definitely want to have this going. Uh, it warms up to the customers, and by the time you ask for that honest review, they're much more likely to leave that review. And as we know, reviews are extremely important on Amazon. We want to increase our chances of getting as many as possible. So with an email uh, sequence, that will really aid and help you guys to get there. So really take this one into consideration and implement in your Amazon business. So the next thing is professional photography. Now this, guys, is so important. You're looking on Amazon, and people really, the first thing people look at as soon as they type in the product they're looking for are images, guys. Everything else they don't care about. They don't really care about the titles, the bullet points, until they look at the image. So the first thing they're, they're going to do is look at the image and, and see if that's what they want. And then they're going to look at customer reviews. And then they're going to open up your page, look at everything else, bullet points, descriptions, and not so much everything else, but the images is really the most important thing. So what I suggest, I've done in my business for the last five years, really take the time to make good images, whether you are taking them yourself, uh, you have a great camera, really high definition, amazing product photos. Uh, I have here aesthetic looking beautiful. You want the picture to just s sell a product. If you didn't have any other room for a copy or for bullet points or anything else, if the customer looked at your products, you want those images to just sell your product right off the bat. So that's just one huge advantage. Amazon people are visual purchasers. They want to see what they what what they think is the best product for them. And by having an amazing image, um, really set up and showing off your product really nicely with white backgrounds. And I go over more details about that in the course as well. In general, you want to have really nice photos. If you're going to do this yourself, make sure that you have a good camera or if you're going to hire someone on Fiverr or Upwork or wherever you're going to get a product photographer from, maybe they do some Photoshop work with your images and make it look really good because guys, photos are extremely important. Don't overlook that. It is probably one of the most important things on Amazon to increase your conversions and make those sales. So keep that one in mind and really implement, the, implement that. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is Amazon PPC. So this is a confusing thing to a lot of people and again, a lot of questions about this. So guys, PPC is really important as well. You want to have a completely dialed in PPC campaign for your product because especially in the beginning, you want to push for all these long tail keywords and the most important keywords you want to have, you want your product showing up for. So what PPC is, if you don't even know about that, it's called pay per click and you basically bid on certain keywords and it puts your product placed on the first page, depending on how high you bid for those keywords. So you could be placed on the first page for all your main keywords if you bid the proper amount of budget for those certain keywords. So it could put your product uh, a top of everyone else's and you can get the exposure and visibility and sales needed, especially in the beginning. When you're just starting out, you need to get the ball rolling. So in order to do that, I would suggest that uh, you start with a $20 per day auto campaign. And then from there, you go seven days later, pull a search term report and optimize from there. Take your best keywords, put them into manual phrase campaign, and then bid a little bit higher for that. That's going to ensure you get your best keywords and that you're bidding the uh, highest budget for the one, uh, keywords you know that are converting. So in the beginning, it might be um, you might be going in the negative for this. You might be spending a little bit more than you're making, but that's okay because you want to push for these uh, long tail keywords to ensure you get yourself to the first page for these keywords, and it's extremely important to do so. And by using uh, Amazon PPC sponsored ads, it's an extremely helpful and great way to uh, get more sales and get the ball rolling. So the last thing I want to go over, guys, is to build a customer list. And this is the sixth point in this uh, series to build a customer list. So now there are many ways to do this, but the two of my favorite ways to uh, do this are through ClickFunnels and ManyChat. And what's the point of collecting emails? To build customer relationships. And like I said before, we'll, we're building brands on Amazon. So a line of products uh, to really help and aid in your target demographics needs and wants so they have certain desires they are filling you're filling the needs and gaps of of the products that they want to to make their lives better in some way so you want to have this target demographic in your control somehow whether it's a email list or it's a many chat list and that's a messenger a new way of communicating with people through messenger it's really powerful so really check that out you could basically send a message to anybody through their uh, Facebook Messenger app, and it pops up on their phone, 
and the open rates are just insane. They're like how email uh, open rates were about 10 years ago. So people are really looking at that. They're engaging and they are opening every single message. So that's really important. Also, click funnels is important too. You could, uh, this is a little bit more advanced, but you could make uh, landing pages and with an offer, you can collect an email and then with an opt-in and then that gives the customer a promotion or something. So that's just helping to collect emails so that you could build a list. And in the future, you could launch new products to this list. You could share valuable information, tips with them to warm them up, to really create a brand more than just an Amazon business. That's what I speak about because in the long term, if you ever go to sell your business in five, six years, these are assets that you're going to have that's going to value your, your company 10 times more than it actually is. So you want to have these things. It can be benefit to you in many ways. Uh, getting reviews from a warm uh, customer base is so much easier as well. So that's just a real quick uh, overview of how to build customer uh, customer list and build an audience around your target demographic. So really take this one into consideration as well. Uh, don't get so stressed out about this in the beginning, but you want to um, eventually turn your sights towards this once you uh, get your feet wet with your products and everything. So this is a really helpful tip. So those are the six ways to get more sales on Amazon. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm constantly putting out videos like this about Amazon FBA freedom, living the laptop lifestyle, really achieving the lives of your dreams. In the end, guys, we're, we're doing this to free ourselves and build a better lives for ourselves so we can have financial freedom and live lives on our own terms. So make sure you subscribe. You don't miss a thing. If you're interested in an A to Z course and blueprint on how to go from zero to multiple six and seven figures per year on Amazon, I have the Amazon Entrepreneurs course, which will be linked shortly below, um, which will include my mentorship. So if you're interested in that, check that out. And hopefully you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video.